Hi everyone, so I'm back with a great opportunity and this one is open for pretty much all of you. So if you don't know by now, the Meta Hacker Cup 2025 is here. It is finally happening. This is an internationally acclaimed coding competition in which you'll be able to check your skills, see your skills against many, many other participants. You'll have an international rank. And of course, you'll get a lot of prizes, you'll have cash prizes, the top 2000 or something rankers will get hoodies. So this is a great opportunity where all of you guys should take part in. Because first, you'll get to know more about your DSA skills, your programming skills, like where your problem solving is right now. And second, if you get a good rank, you'll have something to put in your resume. See, let me talk about this for a while, right? Because we have so many people. And when I see their resume, they have nothing in their resume apart from projects. They have projects, but they have nothing extra. They don't have any hackathon. They don't have any open source. They don't have any coding competitions that they have taken part in. So this is something that can make you stand out in front of other candidates. It can make you stand apart in front of other candidates. If you have done these things, if you have done ICPC, if you've done Hacker Cup, if you've done, done hash code, if you've done any internationally acclaimed coding competition and you've gotten a good rank or you've even qualified till some of the further rounds, some of the final rounds, that will make a great impact in your resume. So if you're someone who has cleared, let's say, all of the rounds of Meta Hacker Cup, you can talk about that with the interviewer. You can tell that in your introduction and surely the interviewer is going to be impressed by it because Meta Hacker Cup is something that pretty much everyone in the industry knows about. So this is something that I highly suggest all of you guys should definitely take part in it is completely free of cost. There is nothing you need to do for registering. There's nothing you need for registering. You can just register right now. The link to register is in the description box. You can log in on Facebook and then you can register. The link is in the description box. So I highly suggest and a lot of people wonder, is it only for competitive programmers? Can we take part if you're not a competitive programmer? So yes, the answer is yes. You can take part. You don't need to be a competitive programmer. It doesn't matter if you're on Code Forces, if you're on Code Chef, or if you're active there or not. As long as you know DSA, as long as you're good with one programming language, and as long as you're passionate about problem solving, you absolutely must take part in it. Because the best thing about this is that it will tell you more about your own problem solving skills, right? People nowadays are literally paying to know about high quality problems, to know problems from companies like Google, Amazon, etc. So you'll be having those high quality problems here and you'll get a chance to basically solve them and compete with others. So you'll be able to see where your ranking is, right? And of course, I already mentioned if you get a good rank or even if you get a decent rank, you don't need to be in the top 2000, top 1000. If you get a decent rank, and if you're able to qualify for a few of the rounds, you can absolutely put that in your resume. You can have an achievement section where one thing you can talk about DSA, solve 500 plus coding problems, 500 plus DSA problems. And then you can have one line about this. The qualified Meta Hacker Cup got XYZ rank in Meta Hacker Cup 2025. So I highly suggest it doesn't matter if you're a beginner, it doesn't matter if you're a top level competitor programmer, anyone can take part in this and everyone should take part in this. And if you're worried about the eligibility, don't be. The eligibility here is pretty good. It's pretty lenient. Anyone over the age of 18 can take part in this. So virtually there is no eligibility criteria. Okay. You can do it from anywhere. It's a great opportunity. It happens once a year. Meta 2024, Hacker Cup 2024 was absolutely great. If you are going for it, I will suggest that you solve the previous year problems. So you'll get the archive on some YouTube channels. If you look at Priyansh YouTube channel, Priyansh Agrawal, he has a great channel, by the way. You can see on his channel, he'll have some solutions related to 2024 or some information related to 2024. Apart from that, I'll give you guys the question set archive of the previous years. And along with that, I'll give you guys the video tutorials of those previous year questions so that you'll be able to, you know, pretty much get a good idea of how it's going to be. So you're not thrown off by being in the contest, right? Apart from that, I'll also put some really cool uh, videos in the description of people winning the Hacker Cup. So I saw a couple of videos of top level competitor programmer who basically made videos about winning the Hacker Cup and you know the ranks they got, the problems they got. So it's a great, it's a very fun thing to do, man. Think about this as something fun you're doing. Because see, your engineering is not all about just DSA and projects, right? You need to have something extra. So you can have hackathons. That is also fun. You can have coding competitions. You can have open source. You can have many, many things. 
and the more you do of these things the more you do these things the more filled your resume will be and the more it will show to the recruiter that you have plenty of skills okay right now if you only having pain projects in your resume it is not going to work take part in hackathons take part in coding competition whether it's icpc whether it's hacker cup whether it is any other coding competition take part in it take part in open source take part in conferences do all of these things it will not only give you a lot of information it will give you a good network but of course it will give you a great amount of things to put in your resume you'll not win all of them of course you'll not win all of them but you start enjoying it and the more you take part in these things the better your chance of winning them is going to be okay so all of the details are going to be in the description box along with the link to register it opens today the practice contest opens today itself so make sure you register and go for the practice contest it is going to be from 10th to 15th of october i think all of the dates are going to be in the description box you don't need to worry so the practice contest is open right now the moment you're seeing this video go register for it go to the practice contest practice contest is unrated it's not going to have any impact on your rating the rank and all will not matter it is just a practice contest okay so yeah that's pretty much it man just wanted to make a quick video about this and if you are someone who's struggling with dsa you struggling with problem solving you want to crack the top companies but you're not able to improve in dsa you're following some road map but you're not getting any result out of this if you're in that situation you can connect one to one with me where i will personally help you guide you and make sure that everything that you do helps you and eventually makes you crack the top companies so you can connect one to one with me the link for that is going to be in the description box so that's pretty much it what are you waiting for go and register right now and make sure that you subscribe because i'll be bringing a lot more opportunities i'll be bringing hackathons i'll be bringing job openings and i'll be bringing tutorials of many many things on the channel make sure you subscribe and let's see you in the next video